Hi, my name is Craig Matheny. I'm the designer and manufacturer of the solid mount. This mounting bracket is the only mounting bracket designed for fiberglass showers. There's other ones out there, toggle bolts, ones that use specific type of wings and other things that are called secure. But none of those are really truly secure in fiberglass because the fiberglass flexes. The solid mount mounts into the studs of the house and that gives you a safe, secure, solid grab bar to hold on to. All right, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna protect the work surfaces. So I go ahead and throw a couple blankets down here. I also put one in the bottom of the tub where I'm gonna be standing. But also, you wanna take a little bit of time and put a piece of paper towel and maybe some blue tape around the drain so you don't drop any parts down there. And before you get started, throw a piece of blue tape across the top so you got something to mark on when you find the studs. You don't have to mark on the wall, you can mark on this and it doesn't damage anything. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a stud finder and with this blue tape in place, we're gonna start over here and we're gonna start working this way across and locate all the studs that are on this wall. And then we should be another 16 inches. There should be one somewhere in this area, which we won't be using, but we wanna make sure they're there. There it is. And then let's go and find that last one. Starting, stopping. So right there, so you got one stud, two stud, three stud. We're gonna be putting a 36 inch grab bar in today. So we're gonna use this line and this far line. And this bar is gonna end up at an angle. So it's gonna roughly go from there to about right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some tape, run down both sides here. So that way we can take a level and put um, the markings on it to find the center of the stud down there. And the reason you put two rows of tape is, if you're anything like me, you're not gonna put this tape on level. By having multiple pieces, when you mark it with the level, you don't mark onto the tub. Okay, on this next step, we're gonna go ahead and try to find the center of that stud down here. And the way we do that is we're gonna use a level. So line up the level onto the edge here, get yourself centered and then dry yourself a line along that tape. This will give you the area that you're gonna put that grab bar in. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, now that we have our 36 inch grab bar ready to go, normally you're gonna mark up here and then figure out where the bottom's gonna end up. But in this case, because of the stud being at this corner, we have to start above it. So we're gonna do it backwards. We're gonna set that there and go up to the stud up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the markings here and that will give us the location of the solid mount for up here. But also, because the tape wasn't straight, we wanna go ahead and add a couple more pieces of tape here so when we go ahead and start marking the flange out, we don't accidentally mark on the shower. And I'm gonna put one more tape up over here also on each side. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna locate the center of the two marks we put on to find the center of that flange. And so grab a tape measure and your marker and right there becomes our center. So now that we have the center marked, we're gonna drill an eighth inch hole in there. And this eighth inch hole is going to give you the ability to, one, make sure that the stud's back there, which it should be because we've confirmed it. But two, we're gonna find out whether we need to move left or right in case the stud's got a little bit of a bow. Okay, right there I've hit the stud. So what we're gonna do is, if you've got a piece of wire, craft wire, electrical wire, anything that's, that's long, a wire coat hanger even. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in that hole. One, we hit the stud. So if I go at an angle like this, and I still hit the stud, I know the stud's at least this far. And if I go the other direction and hit the stud, I know the stud's at least that far over there. So I'm pretty much dead center on that stud. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, now that this has got the hole marked, is let's take the tape off the wall. And now we have the location for the one side of the bar. We now take our two inch hole saw 
and gently. You do not want to slam this into the wall. You want to slowly go and start drilling. Now that you're through with the larger bit, you now want to drill and just slowly start cutting. Now, once you get through, just keep the drill going and you want that center drill bit just to hit in that two by four. So if you look here, we now have a mark for our stud. It's also not completely centered. So what we can do is we can move over a little bit so we have room for the bracket to move. So we're gonna go ahead and move that over a little bit and then go ahead and put that as our center mark. So I'm just gonna move right over to there. And that's gonna be our new center point right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the drill a little bit and we're gonna drill that straight in. Okay, now what you wanna do is grab your instruction sheet and go to chart one. And at that point in time, you measure from the stud to the face of the fiberglass. So in this case, it comes out an inch and a half. That's your distance you have to span. So we go to the chart, we find where's an inch and a half? One and three eighths to one and five eighths. We're gonna cut two spacers off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this spacer and you've got A, B, C, and D. So you're gonna cut C and D off. Now, as you can see over here, I've gone ahead and cut all the different ones off. So we need two removed. So that's gonna be this set that only has two left. So this is the ones we're gonna go ahead and install today. Okay, so now we have the adapter cut down to just two spacers left. We're gonna put the lag bolt in on the threaded side, the washer on the back side. Then this will go ahead, line up in the hole that we drilled, and then just install it. Make sure it's nice and tight, and that's it. Okay, now that we have the spacer attached to the stud, we're gonna go ahead and install the mounting plate. Now this mounting plate will just go ahead and screw onto here like this. So it just screws on like that, but before we screw it on, we just wanna take some caulking and just put a bead of caulking right around the edge. You don't need a whole lot. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the solid mount flange and we're just gonna screw it on until it's flush. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the grab bar now that we have the first flange in place. We're just gonna hold it in place there. And while that's in place, in this particular case, we're limited on where this bar could go. So you center this line to here and then you're gonna mark the bottom sides of it. And then that shows us where that bar is and then we find the center hole like we did over there. All right, we've gone ahead and mounted the first flange in place and we've measured the grab bar over to here to give us where this end is located. But what we don't know is where the center is. And that's why we have this line here and the two lines from the outside of the grab bar. So I always start with the number one on my tape measure to get an exact measurement because this piece moves. So I wanna go one and a half inches down because this is a three inch flange. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and drill the eighth inch hole again. Now, as we did over there, we wanna make sure we have the two by four there, which we've heard solid with the drill. And if we go at the angle again, we know that we're at a good spot on that two by four. Okay, and again on this, take your time drilling into the hole. And then once we're there, kind of get it squared up and drill yourself a little bit of a hole in there. Okay, we've gone ahead and drilled our hole here and we're off center a little bit. And that again, we're allowed to adjust this. But in this case, we don't want to just move over, we want to move down a little bit because of the length of the bar. So we're just going to go ahead and remark this right there and then drill it. Okay, now that that's drilled, we need to measure the gap again. We don't assume it's the same as what's over there. So this one here is an inch and a quarter. That one was an inch and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go reference the chart again. Inch and a quarter, so inch and eighth to an inch and three eighths is we're gonna cut off three. 
So we want the one that just only has one tab left. Slide the lag bolt in, the washer, and go ahead and install it. And make sure it's nice and tight. And then again, this just goes ahead and screws on. So we're gonna go ahead and take some caulking and put it around the opening here. And now we'll go ahead and seal it. And remember, we also put a bead of caulking around the outside of it. So it's completely sealed all the way around. And then go ahead and screw this in. And then just turn it as far as you can. Once it stops, it stops. And then there's that in place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little cheat on how to keep these out of your way. If you just take some blue tape, wad up a little bit on the end, wrap it there, and do the same thing on the other side, they can't slide past it. So as you're working, they're not gonna get in your way. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line these up here and down there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark one hole here. I'm gonna drill that hole and then put that screw in. And you go right through the stud, or right through the flange, but you also go into the fiberglass. So it's just not the flange holding it, it's also the fiberglass holding it too, as far as just holding the flange against it for waterproofing. Now I suggest not to use power tools on this because you don't want to strip them out and they're not that hard to screw in by hand. Get that one roughly as tight as you can, then you're going to shift down to here. You're going to line this one back up and you're going to mark one hole here. Once that's done, take the drill and then go ahead and put that screw in. Snug that down, come back now and snug this one down. Now, take the drill and drill two more of these out. And do the same thing down here. And then go ahead and screw those in place. Now let's get these top two in. Okay, then you can take this tape off, and this flange will eventually cover this, but we want to go ahead and do our caulking first. We're just going to put a bead of caulking around the top half of this. Same with this one, but remember, this one had a little bit of a gap, so we're going to also hit that gap. Even though the inside of it's okay with the other silicone, we're going to put a little bit more on it. And don't put a lot, just put a little bit, because too much will end up smearing all over the place. And then that does that one there. We're going to go ahead and do this one down here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the covers on. This particular grab bar has two little pins on it, and those go on these little notches here. So if you just line it up, put the bottom ones in first, hit it like that. Look how clean that is right there. Nice and solid. Now on this one, same thing. Let's take the tape off now. We don't need it anymore. Line that up, hit it. All right, so we got the last one on. The bar is completely finished. And the thing that's nice about this is it is rock solid. It's not moving, it's not flexing. When you're handicapped, disabled, or just need something to hold on to to feel secure, you want it to be solid. Anything else is gonna cause that flexing we talked about earlier on that fiberglass wall. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe.